Hey folks, welcome back. It's turn 120 and we're just about to come out of the medieval era as the Taino and enter the early modern as, well, TBD. In the last episode, I took over the rest of this consonant here, knocked out a few other players, and we're just trying to position ourselves to win the game and accumulate some more fame. This continent over here has an interesting dynamic. Right now, the orange player is the only free player, whereas the sort of reddish colored player here has vassalized both pink and black. So they're in a good position, and if you look at fame, I am ahead of them on fame slightly, but it is still fairly close, and they are an era ahead of me. So we'll need to be dealing with them over the coming eras. So as far as civilization choice, and actually I put off a decision from last episode whether or not to accept paying these guys some money in order to get trade, and I'm just going to do it. I have a decent amount of money right now. So I'm going to grab the silver here, which will give me some extra science on my research quarters. I'm going to grab the marble for extra production from workers. I'm also going to grab the dye just for some straight extra production. So that's a pretty decent amount of maintenance. I... The ambergris would also not be bad. I'll just grab those. I have a decent amount of money per turn. There's a part of me that feels like I should just take all of them. They don't have that many luxuries. Though I think the the marginal effect here is low, I think, relative to the cost. Because that would cost me another 100 or so, roughly. And I would get an extra... Um, two money for porcelain on administrative centers. I mean, I have a decent number of administrative centers. I can, I'm can. i curious what the math on this would work out to be. I'm at 1268 per turn right now. I'm just going to do it, and then I don't have to think about it later. 1234, basically the same. Lose a little bit of money. Oh well. Okay, so as far as culture options, I thought about a few. I did think about the Dutch, uh, primarily because I would like to increase my money income, and I am eyeing specifically the extra money per trader from the VOC warehouses, because I have a lot of pearls that are making my traders quite efficient in a lot of my cities. Uh, I was thinking about the Haudenosaunee, because I am struggling with food in a lot of my cities because of the terrain that I have is not excellent for food production, and I would like to get food up so I can support pops for the rest of the game. Maasai are kind of the same story, right? But they take a different approach where they reduce the population consumption. They do have the Enkang, but it gives less straight food and more makes it cheaper to maintain your pops. And then, you know, the Mughals are always a, a decent option as well if you really want to get your industry up. I don't think that's a major challenge for me this game, so I'm fine not picking them. If I had managed to get like Angkor Watts, the Ottomans or Spanish could have been an option because they both produce faith per population in their emblematic districts. And that would combo really nicely with Machu Picchu and I could distribute food empire wide. But in this case, because I don't have Angkor Wat, that's not really an option. So what I settled on is actually the Haudenosaunee, just because I feel like the early modern is kind of the last viable era in which to pick an agrarian culture. Once you get into the industrial and especially the contemporary eras, the food becomes a lot less valuable because it takes population time to come online and you can't get more than one population per turn in any given city. So regardless of how much food you're making, your potential outputs on the other end of that, however you distribute the pop that you get from the food, are a lot more limited. So this would kind of set me up for the rest of the game in terms of my food production and ensure that I can keep taking advantage of all my population slots. My other consideration as well is that I did get Citadel of Alamut this game, and the Radiskin Regatza would allow me to take farther advantage of that, uh, because they, they have stealth, and the Citadel does boost stealth by plus 10, I believe. So this will be a, a good pick to set me up for the rest of the game, I think, even though it will take a little bit longer to come online than some of the other cultures. So... Here we go into the new era. I already have a population star, several stars, honestly. So let's take a look. I'm just curious. Yeah, plus 45 food, really excellent outputs from that. So let's take a look at the wonders that are available. Santa Maria has been claimed already, which is kind of a bummer. Santa Maria is a very nice wonder if you have a decent religion, which I do. However, I am going to go for my usual play of claiming Top Cappy Palace. 
This is an efficiency play. The best wonder in this era, in my opinion, is Taj Mahal. Plus 50% money on Settled City is an insane buff. But Top Cappy makes it cheaper to produce these wonders, basically. Uh, it doesn't really make it cheaper. It gives you increased production towards wonders, which is you know, effectively the same as a, a cost reduction. So we're going to take, take Top Cappy, take Cappy, and we're going to start working on it right away because we want to claim multiple wonders this era. This is a very good era for getting wonders. There are a lot with really good effects. So we're going to find somewhere with relatively low stability. I have a decent amount in all of my cities, it seems. I should be attaching some territories here. Let's see. That one's pretty low. Okay, I'm going to attach some territories. So I'm actually thinking, like, what would be, what would be good? I'd like to attach at least one territory to some of my main cities. So this one right here has multiple districts in it, so it's going to be the biggest stability hit. I'm thinking maybe Harappa or Mykonae. I mean, those are the only two. Definitely not Gnosis, not Babylon. That's too kind of snaky. Um, Harappa, I guess you're more money-oriented. They're kind of both money-oriented. This has both research and market quarters. I do feel like potential adjacency is better in Mykonae with that territory, but it means that Harappa would kind of be at its maximum capacity for uh, territory already, which might be fine. It doesn't necessarily need any more territory than it already has. I have enough to fill out districts in Harappa for the rest of the game, I think. Mykonae is already fairly large, though, in terms of territory. So maybe I go for Harappa, and I can build Tukkapi here to kind of counteract the um, stability hit that I'm going to get from attaching this territory. So let's do that. Wow, that's a big stability hit. Might need to get the garrison thing in here, the city watch. That'll help a little bit. I'm going to just go ahead and start using that money that I have right away. And let's build top cappy. I don't think it matters too much where. Probably a little out of the way somewhere. Like, yeah, we can just build it over here. Unless I get some, like, adjacency from uh, something. I don't really think I do. I always build it on top of the river. That way it exploits the yields there efficiently. Yeah, let's do that. And then I'm going to start working on that with everyone right away. I'm going to... Just get that harbor, and we can move people off food here. And I think same down here. Let's get top cappy. So really prioritizing this just because of the value of some of the wonders in this era. I'll go ahead and finish that maker's quarter, just using some cash. And down here as well, I'm thinking about attaching this territory right here. And this will make my three sisters plantations more effective as well. Why can't I not attach that? There we go. Great. And it'll open up quite a few options with Maker's Quarters, as you see. That is actually probably more efficient than the Maker's Quarter I was working on, so I'm going to swap those around. So we'll wor start worrying about the Three Sisters, Three Sisters Plantations a little bit later. Right now I have enough food to at least keep growing, and I'm going to prioritize my production towards some of these really high-value wonders. I'm also going to make sure I don't lose these guys. Okay. As far as tech, straight to humanism. There's really no other option for early modern. The luxury manufactory is just too valuable. One of the most important technologies in the game. Uh, just because you start getting percentage bonuses to all your outputs from the luxury manufactories. I'm going to wait for this uh, to claim this territory so this guy can heal before I send him exploring any farther. Okay. So, given that I'm looking at kind of going this way across, because there's this island here that I can kind of use as a launch pad to get to the other continent, I'm going to move my armies in that direction. Okay. So let's get you up here. And I feel like, yeah, we can wait one more turn and put it down on that tile. And I'll begin upgrading these units once I actually get gunpowder units. There's really no point in doing it right now. And these guys were kind of positioning to head up to this island up here. 
I am going to need to unlock three masted ship first in order to do that. I think I'm going to queue that up next because that'll get me the caravel, which will let me cross these open waters without losing my units. All right. The other thing I should think about as well is because I haven't really gotten any diplomat stars this game. It would be nice to increase my faith output like that, or not my faith output, my um, fame output. And if I could get some diplomats over onto this continent, that uh, might generate me one of one or two of those stars at least. Seems unlikely, but it is possible. Okay, that'll do. So this guy will start regenerating health now. And that'll also get me a silk, which will be very important. And over here, you should be working on top cappy as well. Have some nice maker's quarters I could get. I value that production more than the faith. And then we'll start working on these. Actually, I should put this on expert policy. This is more of a money-focused city, so I'm going to put people on money. We'll start working on the Three Sisters Plantations pretty soon. Oh, I accidentally turned on an option there. I don't need to see the district outlines. I find all those colors fairly distracting. So over here can get that. I can also build a harbor. Plus 18 is pretty decent as far as harbors go. And it would also allow me to attach this territory here, which I'm going to do. Pretty big stability hit there. And I guess I can just build the next wonder in this city. Do you have the cost reduction on common quarters? A common quarter in there would work pretty nicely. It breaks up the adjacency of the quarters here if I wanted to fill this out farther, which I do, but I don't think that's an issue. Okay, we're going to go for science investing. Extra science is quite helpful. Some very important text to get this era. I find that early modern is, for a lot of players, kind of the make or break. It's where uh, a lot of things kind of come to a head and making important decisions here um, can change the outcome of the game in a way I feel like it, it doesn't quite in the, in the medieval. Um, so Taj Mahal... Machu Picchu has been claimed already, which, yeah, I mean, it wasn't the best game for me, for Machu. It was a consideration, but Taj Mahal is pretty much a wonder I want every single game. It's honestly um, too good, in my opinion. Ah, I don't have any rivers in here, so I can't build Taj in that city. That's fine. We'll build it in uh, an efficient spot. 36 food and 9 production there is not bad. Is there anywhere else that's good? Let's see, where do I have rivers? 15 and 22, that's not bad. 39 and 18. That is quite good. And this is a lower stability city. Let's do it up here. Okay. Just get all this stuff. Go in. Uh, the other thing we'll have as well to help counteract some stability issues is the artisan workshops or whatever they're called. Um, the manufactories will give some uh, stability on the cities that I build them in. Okay, we can explore this way with the cog. Let's see what we can find as far as continents or other islands even. Having another island that's a little closer would be pretty nice for me to have another launch pad for sending units over. Okay. Actually, yeah, they can make it there. Okay. And end the turn again. Okay. So we have humanism unlocked, which gives us the luxury manufactories. So that is now priority number one. We've already claimed Taj Mahal, so we don't need to worry about losing it. So let's see what we can get. Let's prioritize low stability cities first. So we could get the Silk Manufactory here if we wanted. Harappa. We can get Papyrus and Coffee. So this gives some adjacency to surrounding um, market quarters. 
So this will provide a little bit of extra money if we build it in that position. We could also do papyrus in there if we felt we wanted to. Soak up there, okay, that's an option. You can also get materials procurement, which I should get. The reduced resource requirements to get the resource deposits is what I'm going to prioritize here because there are quite a few where I don't quite have enough in order to get them, and I think that tech is going to help me out here. Okay, so over here, this is... Okay, I can get these manufactories now. Because I was going to say, this silk is kind of risky. There's a high likelihood that enemies come to pillage that later. And I prefer safer options. So I'm going to get the porcelain in this city just to help with stability. As you can see, huge stability bonus there. And any other cities I really need to worry about this in. I could do gemstones. That would actually be a pretty nice one there. Let's go ahead and commit to that. And papyrus isn't that important. This has the potential for market quarters to expand down here, so I will go ahead and get the ebony manufactory in that one. And then Kerma... Where's the incense? Right there. Yep, incense will give me some adjacency. Let's get that. Keep in mind that these are uh, competitive, right? So there can only be one manufactory of any given type in the world at any time. So the sooner you get them online, the better, because you don't want to risk that the AI get them. You can also get gold in this area here, which I'm going to do. Influence purchase that. And the bonuses that you get from these are culture-wide. Okay, seems like this is the only one I have the obsidian in, so we'll get it there. Not the uh, stability bonuses, but the sort of uh, percent output bonuses are, are culture-wide. Okay, so that's papyrus. This is, yeah. So let's do the marble. Let's do the papyrus. I thought there was... That's, that is papyrus, right? Yeah. Don't want to look like an idiot. <laughs> okay. Then anyone else other than that city down there? No. Yeah, there are quite a few in the city. So I decided to get everyone else first. And last one is going to be the silk. Okay. <laughs> I got a builder star just from getting all these manufactories. Definitely worth purchasing them, right? Because you're going you're going to start benefiting immediately. You get huge bonuses to all your outputs from getting manufactories. So really recommend trying to get them online as soon as they're available. And then we'll start getting some other things queued up in thing in places where there's only a little bit in the queue. Yeah, some of this infrastructure isn't super important in Gnosis. Babylon, we all want High Furnace eventually, but my industry is not great here. It's okay, but it could definitely be better. All right. I also have the option of advancing to the next era, <laughs> which a um, little early for that game. Okay. So that's the edge of the continent there. And Kral is a player that is a vassal, so we'd end up going to war with them. We're just going to hang out for now. So after the three-masted ship, we're going to go into Gunpowder Warfare so we can start getting our saltpeter up and start getting unit upgrades. And yeah, keep them moving. We'll also probably need some more units. Okay, that looks like an island there. So maybe a, a good stopover point if I could say pillage that island. Okay, let's see what they do. Okay, they'll make me withdraw the demands. Interesting. Fair enough. Because I obviously am not positioned to go to a war with them. Sometimes they won't do that. I can also grab another wonder. So, a few options here. 
St. Basil's uh, is faith-oriented, not that interested. Palace is reduced leverage action costs. I have almost no leverage, not really interested in that. The ones I am interested in are Hotel. So this gives you some uh, combat strength per veterancy level. So you basically get double the CS bonus from veterancy. You get some money when you kill units and uh, obviously a little bit of fame. And then more importantly, it allows you to regenerate health when you're outside of your territory, which is a nice little bonus when you're going to war on foreign continents. The Brussels Town Hall is also decent. You can get some nice adjacency and it gives you extra fame for every wonder that you build, as well as for every wonder that you've already built. So a nice buff to fame. I'm going to go for Hotel. I think that'll be the most valuable for me this game. And I don't know if it matters too much where I build it. Just probably wherever I can get the best outputs. Which seems like it's in my capital. Yeah, 44 food right there is pretty strong. Can't lie. Go ahead and put it there. That one is lower priority. I think after hotel, I don't need to worry too much about the rest of these. Brussels would be a nice add-on, but it isn't... Uh, I wouldn't consider it a requirement for the strategy that I'm pursuing. So if I can get it later, I will, but I'm not going to prioritize getting Brussels Town Hall. Let's see what they're... Okay. So if I can get... Yeah, just go ahead and pop that down. And if they come to attack me... Actually, I should just upgrade these guys right now. I know it's kind of a waste of gold, but in case they come attack me, I need these two units to be a little bit more modern so I don't lose this, and I need to clear that readout out of there. So I can start moving my envoy as well towards this continent over here and hopefully start picking up some leverage. Okay. Cog, need you to come back. It actually might die. It's fine. And just use uh, my envoy to explore. Okay, gunpowder warfare coming up. Yeah, I think my cog's going down. Okay. So we'll manual battle this. That's really unfortunate there. So we're going to have a ranged unit here and here because there's only one tile from which they can be attacked in melee. And I should be able to clean this up fairly easily. Thankfully, these crossbows are not super dangerous to me because they do not have indirect fire. There we go. Okay. That won't be quite right once Hotel gets up. Actually, let's, let's finish that Maker's Quarter. And over here... Yeah, I should just finish Hotel, maybe. Though, yeah, it's not that important yet. Got a little bit to go before I need it. Um, Three Sisters Plantation there looks fine. Yep, that's fine, too. Don't want to lose quite that much production. How am I getting so much? Oh, there's a Invisible Market Quarter up there. Kind of weird when that happens. Yep, some decent options here. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> wow. Oh, something really agitating my nose there. Okay. And then flood irrigation would be good as well in here. I'm going to buy that maker's quarter just so we have a little bit more industry going. I'm going to buy that one as well. Yeah, we can work on Hotel here. What is this? Oh, it's a Beatty. That's why that is not getting adjacency for stability. I should also... Yeah, I was going to say Hamlets are an option I haven't really thought about yet. A little bit more production I think is more valuable here. And I think in this city, right, this Natural Wonder provides some bonuses to Hamlets. So, yeah, right here, 45 food, 22 production, 10 money, 10 science. 
I don't usually build a lot of hamlets. But in this case, it might be worth it. Let's see. I don't know why it's... Yeah, weird. The tooltip updated. Unless I accidentally clicked on something incorrectly before. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay, we'll just leave it at those two for now. And over here, any hamlets worth building? That might be okay, actually. I don't think I can... Uh, can 22. Yeah, I suppose that's worth it. This one might not any, might not have money. Uh, 15, 18 food, 15 production. Yeah, why not? Okay. Babylon. That won't be accurate. This hotel's going to work a lot of those. Okay, I think I'm good with all those. And this army is going to keep going this way. You need to remember to build more units at some point soon. Okay. See if we can move this little extra food in production right there. Looks nice. Let's get both of these resources. It's nice. Some more pearls. That'll make our traders even more efficient. Go ahead and pillage that. Yeah, that guy's just dead, so let's just get some extra exploration. Oh, couldn't quite make it to that area there. But that is a more forward island for me to base some of my units, so we're going to try to get them all over there. Okay, just buy that maker's quarter quick, and let's just finish up hotel. Uh, we can also get some saltpeter here, which I'm going to do. Okay, they're working on hotel. Let's have you work on hotel. And in um, Sipar here, let's get some plantations. Just to make sure our food looks okay. And actually, we are already over our population here. I'm going to start filling out some of those so we get some more slots. And up here, though, we definitely need plantations. Okay. More food or more influence. I think the difference there is pretty marginal. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I guess work the river. And up here. Um, sure, right there. <laughs> okay. As far as tech. Movable typeface might be okay. I should actually probably go for siege cannons or supply lines into flintlock so I can get access to my emblematic unit as well as musketeers. So I'm going to do that. So I, w I would like the extra city cap since I'm going to be going onto a foreign continent pretty soon here. Whoa, what was that? What victory could anyone possibly be close to? What? Huh. That's a weird notification. If anyone knows what that's about, let me know. Maybe it's like, oh, did they finish a war? I see. So I think what happened is that the per player here has now vassalized all but one of the empires, right? The one that is not vassalized being me, and I think that's why I got that notification. Had me worried for a second there. It's like, have I not been paying attention to how far ahead they are? But no, I'm fine. Okay, copper... Copper is still worthwhile. I mean, all strategics are worthwhile later in the game because infrastructure gives some bonuses to outputs based on the amount of those things that you have. I also have some salt peter here that I need to build. Do I have any other? Yeah, I have some here as well. Just have you help finish that quick. Okay. Hotel, hotel, yeah, that's all fine. Any other salt peter? That I'm missing. I should probably explore out to my right as well. 
might actually take them off. Just get a quick unit in here that I can send out that way. Just get off, Halberdier. Ah, I want to spawn them in my camp center. Thank you. Okay. Celebrating. Prosperous. Fanatical. Let's get the extra faith, I guess. I don't want to lose my combat strength at the moment. It could still be valuable against the player that I'll be going up against here. Particularly since they're the Poles and they have some very obnoxious units. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, why can I not... Ah, right. It's just... For some reason I thought a, a turn had passed. Okay. Okay. All good there. Could also claim another wonder if I wanted. Brussels is the only one left. How much is it? Yeah, I mean, I'm making a ton of influence per turn, and I don't really need all of it, so I'm just going to claim it. I'm not going to work on it right now. Maybe once we get close to the end of the era. Get you on the water. Three turns from Flintlock. Just get that commons quarter quick. Okay. Hamlet's coming... Don't really need science in my like miscellaneous cities. I do start needing some slots in these. I still want to get these plantations up. And I don't want one in there though. This is where my science quarters are going. I'm going to get these research quarters first because I'm already starting to fill up on slots. Also going to avoid these guys here. I'll plop a an outpost down. It doesn't really matter where. Like right here is fine. Right there is fine. Wherever I can get it first. Just get up on here so they don't harass me. Okay. Ah, some luxuries as well. Very nice. So we can move this probably over here somewhere once this comes online. And let's start exploring that way as well. Just have you avoid them. Okay. Getting okay on stars. I might want to start moving some people off science here because I am pretty deep into the tech tree already. I'm also looking here. It's only five stability there. Yeah. I guess I could build Brussels in this city for the extra stability. Wouldn't be like the most efficient one, but it's primarily for the fame rather than the efficient outputs. What about like, yeah, I'd lose a lot of gold from that. And it would help with stability. We'll give it a minute and I'll think about it. Just going to buy that Hamlet. Nice thing about Hamlets is that they'll give me one of every slot. Which also kind of makes me want to build some in Babylon here. But I'll let it finish up its queue first, I think. Who's the best industry? Harappa's the best one. There is a part of me that wants to start building some units. And I think I probably should. I'm going to grab some of these. I want the armory because that'll get me veterancy on my units. And then I am going to plop a garrison right out here next to this harbor. 
So that way, when I build that, I can start spawning units here and get them as close to the front as, as possible when I, I build them in that city. Going to have the half out. All right, and how about ears? Let's keep exploring. I'm just going to go in a straight line. I don't need to like go up and down and back and forth, side to side, etc. Okay, go ahead and sit. Okay, getting several stars here. Um, see, this is the one that I want. Go ahead and vote for that. I think all the other cultures will want the other one. And we are going to buy all this stuff. Mm, yeah, that's fine. And the readout's gone, so we can get everyone back out there so we can get this manufactory as well and i feel like this was an option in one of my other cities is it yeah up here so let's get that ambergris so that'll increase my science output a little bit and i'm actually going to start moving people off science where i can just to slow down my tech rate slightly <laughs> even though my pop slots are quite full at the moment not much I can do uh, as far as that's concerned. Okay, so red has claimed something out here. Good to know. And tech. Okay, so we can get the musketeers. The king naval artillery, just so we have some naval support. And down here, I'm just going to buy that garrison so we can get started on some units. I'm going to get like an army of these emblematic units. And I got all the, yeah, I got everything that will give them, um, like, bonuses to production and veterancy and all that stuff. I don't have that in my capital, which I should. So this is kind of, well, I guess Mikane is, like, the second closest for reinforcements. Let's make sure we get those. And I need to save some gold to upgrade all these units. Oh, funny. Okay, well, let's just see what's going on here. Probably pillage that. Oh, weird. Uh-oh, that's not great. Why is my war support so low? Have they just been placating me this whole time? How do they even have leverage against me? Okay, so we're going to get the plus 10 more support here. Upgrade those units. And we're going to go searching for a fight. Because the... Units that some of their vassals have are not going to be good. We also need to not get that on boycott. We don't have a lot of turns to resolve this issue. I'm just going to hope there's no units there. They haven't placated me yet, which is a good sign. Upgrade these. The one thing that's risky here is that the AI do tend to build a decent number of ships. So I am going to have to play a little bit of dodgeball with those. I really wish I had some extra movement. Okay, they haven't placated me again, which is a good sign. Let's just get him all the way out of there. I'm just going to have these guys sit on the land until I can afford to upgrade them. And over here, yeah, we got war artillery. 
Let's get siege cannons, I guess, so we have access to mortars if we want those. Okay. So fine. Okay, I can grab that. That's a funny thing to be there. And I'm hoping they can't respond to that, but we will find out. So it hasn't placated me again. They don't have much in the way of leverage against me, thankfully. I'm going to start upgrading these units. And I'll wait one more turn for them. You are just going to camp out. And Mikane. Okay, you're building the cost reduction stuff. Man. Mana War is quite expensive. Wish I had more industry here. Probably work on some Karax there. I need to keep a close eye on this in case any units show up. I'm hoping I could get a pillage on whatever, uh, it's going to be over here, whatever that outpost is. I want to avoid the red player. They're going to have winged hussars, which are pretty dangerous in this era because their, their charge ignores um, retaliation. So even with halberdiers, I won't get my anti-cavalry bonus. Okay, I can't refuse that, which is fine. So, I can also just cancel it, but uh, right now, I believe they are an imperialist empire. I actually don't know what the exact criteria is for that one. I know that I am usually an imperialist empire, um, but I, I don't know where I would look to get the information about what, like, who is an imperialist versus who is not. So uh, I, I believe that they will be an Imperialist, so I should get war score from winning against them. So Chartered Companies, probably the option here just for some increased money. Keep an eye on this over here. So good for now. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to deal with ships. I should. I need to get up onto that uh, territory next turn. I think. Okay. Was that pink that was building those? Yeah. This is going to be a bit tricky. Because the ships that they build are going to be on the tough side. Okay. Can't afford to get... Nope, get out of the way. Can't afford to have those units get engaged in combat there. The other thing I want to do is... Yeah, so they might try to get up onto the land here and attack my units. I need to make sure that I claim another one of these tiles... Uh, specifically that one right there. That's not great. Yeah, I have to retreat from that. If I lose that battle, I, I would just lose the war. So I'm going to lose some war score there. I knew that was a risk. Um, Go for that one, I guess. I actually don't know where that event chain goes. Get a navy over here. So I'm going to need to kind of micro that guy a bit. Yeah, I have two things I need to do, like, right at the start of next turn. Oh. Hello. That 
That might actually be okay for me because it presents me some options for getting some more score here. And I am still slightly higher tech. What's their exact composition here? It's not too dangerous. They still have some old units. Okay, I need to be fast about this, and you're going to run, and then over here, I need to get you up onto the land, and you need to run away from them. Thank you. Okay. Okay, up here, we are definitely going to sortie. They actually have a terrible position here. I'm actually glad that they came to attack me because I am going to get some decent war score from this fight. So these guys are in a good position. These guys might struggle a little bit to actually hit the enemy. Here might be better. I'm going to do that. Okay, so I want to take out the Arcabooses, obviously. And then we're going to block with these citizens here. Okay, kill the Archibus. Kill the Halberdiers. And we just wait. We don't want them to kill any of my units if we can avoid it. Let's have another guy come out here just to reinforce. I think if I make that attack, yeah, they'll attack me next turn and that should clear them. I'm going to lose a turn of production in the city, but not that big of a deal. Yeah, I'm getting some more score from having eliminated some enemy units. You guys need to just camp out here. Okay, let's go back to this fight. There we go. So plus 22 war score from that. That I'm not like comfortable with the position I'm in as far as war support, but I'm in a much better position than I was last turn. Okay, these guys are ready to go. So they have stealth. So they're going to be um, able to kind of sneak in and do some damage, hopefully. Just go ahead and finish that. And it'll get reinforced by some units here. I'm going to need a navy to escort my the written words. units in. Ooh, we have another one down here. That's not great. Huh. Wonder how they got armies over here. Without me really noticing. Hmm. Let's see. I could... They don't have any garrisons here. I wish I had some faster units available. Just gonna have to buy those and hope they can get those into combat next turn. So I'm just gonna have to try to manage this so that my units don't all die and that I hold onto the flag here. Need my units to survive a turn without them getting into the city, basically. Okay. All right. So I think that gives me time to bring those musketeers in. Meanwhile, I need to go on the offensive over here. We okay, have artistic expression. This one will give me that plus one combat strength from the homeland axis, so I am going to take that because that will be helpful in my current situation. Last tech of the era. 
which is a little weird. I'm going quite fast on tech. I guess that's what happens when you pick Babylon. All right, bring these guys in. And bring these guys in as well. And this will be a nice position for me up on the hill here. I have eliminated one of my units. You want to prevent them from actually getting these units into the city because they'll be a lot stronger if they get in there. So I'm fine with losing some of these home guard units. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. okay. Can't actually shoot anyone from there, which is a bummer, but we can shoot people from there. And we can shoot people from there. Yeah, those wing tossers are nasty. Thankfully, we have a pretty good amount of tech, so we can deal with them okay. Okay, we're running low on options as far as moving these guys around. But at least we'll have an army to defend the borders over here. Press freedom. We're going to probably go for the reduced cost of canceling and enacting civics. That's my war support. Doing fine still. Oh, interesting. Hello there. That should be an easy win for me. Okay, we can chase that guy down next turn. And over here. Ah, we still have this guy that has not come in. I guess, uh, you oh, can just wait. Okay. This has made it obvious my need for increased industry in some of my cities. So let's get some of those basic things. Still need a plantation up here. And we're going to go up in this area up here just because I'm going to fill this out with more science quarters. All right. What can you hit? Can I kill him? Okay. I don't know where those last halberdiers are. I feel like I saw them over here at some point. No? Where are they? There they are. Okay. Coming back in this. That was a very good war declaration from the AI. Okay. Demonize? Yes. Reduced industry cost on units is a very good thing for me right now. Ooh, they have more units coming up here. Okay, let's send that guy back up that way. We do have a mortar here, and it's <laughs> zero to buy it, so I'll just do that. And I think I'll have one more slot in this army, right? I'll have three more, two more slots, rather. So probably another mortar in here makes sense, and then another musketeer. I'm going to do the musketeer just because I can get that in one turn without buying it out. And up here, let's do a little scouting this way and see what direction those units have gone in. If I could destroy that army, that would be great. There they are. Oh, they have more movement than I do. I, well, I guess they retreated, but still. If I could try to catch those guys, that would be nice, but I might have to bring an army back in order to do that. Meanwhile, let's see if we can try to infiltrate their territory here, or at least find out where that outpost is and try to pillage that. And if I could get an outpost up here, that would be a nice kind of forward operating base. Meanwhile, in Mykene, get another good hamlet up there. Let's do the Three Sisters Plantations first, just because they are the emblematic district. And I am coming up on the end of the era already. Same thing down here. 
grab that quick. Avalon. Yeah, I can still do one in this area. Ah, I see that's the wrong. That's probably like right up here. I don't want to put it in here where it breaks up the science quarters. Okay, I'm at the end of tech for the era. Keep these guys here and we'll combine that. And we can push out again with those armies. Ah, interesting. So I'm gonna do. Ah, shit, nah, no, never mind. Let's just go for this attack. See how far they actually retreat. Okay. See what that zone would look like. Yeah. I think I can win this just with the Karax because they have, uh, they'll be using transport ships, so I'm going to go for this. I could, yeah, I can't actually build another one there since I've already initiated the combat. Uh, we'll start like, whoop. Something like that. And the name of the game here is just eliminate as many as possible on the first round. And actually, I have this guy here. Great. Yeah, not, a, not really a problem. Alright, then we just have to find the stealth guy. I feel like, I mean, I know it's benefiting me right now, but they probably shouldn't have stealth when they're on boats. <laughs> Where is this guy? Yeah, weird. Nothing I can do about it, though. That guy is going to camp out there for now. And over here, they're going to camp. I am at the end of tech. I think it's waif, waif, worth waiting a couple turns just for some more fame gains here. I am pretty close to several stars. And I do need to get some more of my emblematic districts online. Might actually skip over here. I guess like 17 food there is okay. It's not amazing. And in here. Might actually be worth getting these two now. Since I'm working a couple more river tiles. And then food looks okay for the time being. I would like to get some more money just so I can keep buying as much stuff as I can. I'm like, I'm doing okay on money. This isn't the best I've had as far as money generation, but obviously I didn't pick a lot of those kind of cultures. Okay. Really funny that they're sieging me here. Just arrange something like that. No, oh, that's a good spot up there, actually. It's Bring him out a little bit, just because I'm worried about vision being blocked. And over here, we can put that guy there. Give these guys some adjacency. All right. Actually, I didn't quite realize these guys were on low ground here. Okay. Actually, I have units up here I could bring in. Oh. I didn't even realize I had that army there. I could have upgraded them. And I'm fine just waiting this turn, I think. Anyone shoot him? Apparently not. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Let's get him right next to him. We'll move these units up as well, just so they have some adjacency. turn down here should also think about finishing up this army which i probably should do let's buy the market quarter why not i have the money for it and then we can work on these i think just one mortar is probably enough oh got revealed there Still idle down here. Still need more of these plantations. I don't think I've built any of these plantations yet. Okay, those all look okay. Let's see if we can find wherever this stupid stealth unit is. Apparently just uh, suicided into me. Got some more support there. And let's get all these units together. There's some arrow stars. Get these guys out of there. Recover our stealth. Okay. And we'll get those armies combined and we'll actually have a real army up here. Ah, some pretty heavy rain just started outside, so apologize if you can do that in the background. Bam, bam. Alright. Alright, I feel like I have recovered here. I think it's pretty low likelihood that they managed to do any real damage at this point. But it was a pretty um, close call there. It did have me worried. Let's take a look at my era stars. It would be really nice to get the last growth star, which I, I think I definitely can. And it's not like I'm behind the AI, so I'm happy to stick it out, especially since I'm still working on quite a few of my emblematic quarters. Okay. I should get the fishery just because it leads to another... Um, thing later that lets me get uh, a fair bit of food from the harbors that I have up here. Imagine they are going to try to siege me, maybe? I'll start heading down that way. And I should also upgrade all these units. The <laughs> Samnahaya are just going to be what they are for now. And can finally start moving out with this navy. They have a pretty decent sized navy, and I am going to try to avoid it. Okay. Probably start getting just some. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't built this science infrastructure yet. Now, on the other hand, like, should also be just getting some more of these districts because I am still growing and I'm out of slots. I also have very low industry. I'm going to grab a maker's quarter first and then we can sort the rest out after that. Okay. Seem to be avoiding me now. They've also settled a city here, which could be a decent target for me. Okay. I have a small navy here. I'm going to bring them down and start gathering up an army to head out the other direction. 
Meanwhile, still pulling these guys forward. Interesting. Okay, this is uh, going to be a good target for me with my navy. I can plop some guys up on the island there and assault that city. Actually, I can bring some of these together. And I'm going to pull that guy back and kind of recombine him with this army here. Envoy still just camping out. There's really no point of getting him onto this continent. It's completely occupied by enemies. I'll just die immediately. Okay. And three more pop. I am committed to getting that star, I think, even though I'm losing a little bit of science efficiency. It's not the end of the world. Okay. That army doesn't know what to do, which is fine by me. There's something going on in World Congress. Okay, I am going to support the black player getting their freedom to undermine the other player for obvious reasons. Seems like that's probably the way it's going to go. Let's grab that Three Sisters Plantation since we're wrapping up this era. Let's grab that one. Okay, we do have the star, so ideally we would go up this turn. So I'm going to try to buy out some of these, but yeah, I think we're just going to have to wait an extra turn here. Not the end of the world if I don't get that one. I already have enough food, but if I am staying another turn, I will be able to get it anyway. So let's just grab one of these. Doesn't matter which one. Okay. Grab a little goodie there. I was hoping it might give me a, uh, a ship, but can't have everything you want. Unfortunately, these guys were not as effective as I was hoping they could be. I was hoping we would not be at war quite so quickly. Also, running low on stability here. So I'll need to build Brussels Town Hall, actually. That's a good spot for it, I think. But let's do these first. And then we can worry about that. Okay. Do I have a little bit of production into all the Three Sisters plantations that I want? It looks like the answer is yes. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the question is, who do I want for the next era? There are a lot of good options, which I will talk about in a minute once I finish moving all my units. We're going to target to call as a springboard. Kral is probably worth a lot more as a city overall. It's going to be on the mainland. But I would like to just get a relatively safe territory, and the AI have a lot of difficulty attacking um, sort of from the sea. Okay. Okay, let's not end the turn. I'm going to give this a save. Yeah, I won't get that as the star. No big deal. Um, Argentinians, I, I don't think, are the option here. Um, I'll just skip over them. Ethiopians, also not the option. Science on Garrison, not particularly relevant to me. Persians, always um, a decent choice. The reduced cost of project industry, or on shared project industry costs and constructible costs is always useful. These guys are decent. The um, piercing, when the stronger one attacking is nice. Caravanserai is also quite nice as it gives you both money and production and you can place it anywhere in your territory. Austro-Hungarian's great if you need stability, but otherwise not particularly good and probably not my play for this particular game. The British could potentially be relevant here. The Redcoats are a very strong unit. My trepidation with the British is the colonial office um, is going to only be relevant if I really have uh, vassal states, which I do not. 
So I, I don't think it's like a particularly strong pick for me this game. The French are always good just because of their ability to tech into contemporary, but I think I'm more focused on warfare at the moment. And speaking of warfare, the Germans could be an interesting option here. So I have Iron Ordnance, or I would have Iron Ordnance, which would give strength on naval units, strength on naval transports, and strength on air units, and reduce my unit industry cost. It would give me a pretty strong industrial era naval unit that I could use to control the seas a little bit better. And the Coking Works giving plus one industry per population is going to combine really nicely with the amount of food that I am producing. So this is definitely a consideration. The Hawaiians, um, better when you have a more coastally oriented culture. So I am not going to pick them. I'm not particularly coastal at the moment, but they can be good in, in certain situations. The Italians are one of my favorite cultures for this era. The main reason actually being the Alpini, I think are probably the best emblematic units in the industrial, just because Cliff's Crosser gives you so many tactical options in combat that are otherwise not available. Um, inspiring Virtuosos is also quite nice. The extra stability on Commons Quarter, um, the reduced Commons Quarter industry cost, and the Teatro. Uh, they have a good combination of both stability and influence that can be uh, pretty good if you find you need those outputs. Mexicans, um, I think it's just too late to pick Agrarians at this point. I don't really need the food anymore. Soldaderas, I believe my units, my Rodiskin Regata would upgrade into Soldaderas, but that's a, kind of a secondary consideration relative to overall Empire benefits. Russians are in their own tier of being really bad. We're not going to talk about them. Scots, uh, not particularly relevant for me. I'm not behind on science. I don't really need anything that they provide. The Siamese are quite strong. The Gatling Elephant is good. Um, the floating market is a little bit more limited in terms of um, where you can actually place it. It does provide industry and money, which are two pretty high value outputs. I do have a lot of places to put it if I so chose. And their legacy trait is immediately beneficial, right? Plus three industry per district on all cities. Uh, I would say the Siamese are probably my go-to for the industrial era. I think overall they're the most kind of well-rounded in terms of uh, how they benefit your empire. And then the Zulu, extra health regen and combat strength on supply units, the MP and the Warriors is Zindlu. It's a very sort of defensively oriented culture. The MP can be strong against gunpowder units, but I have access to pretty strong units already, and I'm not worried about... Um, needing to like overcome a tech disadvantage or anything like that, which is where the, the Zulu are pretty good. So I right now, I think the main ones in consideration for me are going to be the Germans. I am considering the Italians a bit because I, I am going to start encountering a couple stability issues. It's nothing that I can't overcome, but the extra influence would be nice to finally get some of these three Esthete stars so I can increase my fame outputs. And it would be nice to make sure that I can uh, buffer all this stability. Um, the Siamese are also always a contender. It would be quite strong to pick them. But I think, again, I am going to kind of delay my pick until the start of the next episode and give myself a little bit of time to consider what direction I want to take. So hopefully next time around, we'll finish up this war here uh, in my favor, ideally. It was pretty close call but managed to pull it back so appreciate you all tuning in to this one hope it was a somewhat more exciting episode than just rolling over the ai appreciate you all and i'll see you next time